Hello everyone, this is Damage Perry here, bringing you a mod tutorial, or some sort of, you put it that way, where I'm going to show you how to install Minecraft mods for Minecraft 1.7.10. Now this would be for the viewers on Owens Network, so I hope you guys enjoy this episode. So previously, you would have to go to .minecraft, bin, Minecraft jar, opening with WinRAR or 7-zip, and to take the meta info out and drag and drop mod loader and other mods. Now that's been changed. Now it's a hell of a lot easier to um use. So the mods I'm gonna be the stuff I'll be using will be down in the description below. So I recommend you downloading Forge 1.7.10 installer. Now this will install Forge for you. You don't have to worry about anything else. So what you want to do is, I'll show you the demonstration. So if you run Minecraft, clean Minecraft, no mod installed whatsoever. Okay. So if you go edit profile, come down here, and nothing. All there is is the main versions. Okay. Let's cross this off. Now, this will automatically create a new profile for you. 1.7.10 Forge. So double click on it, run it. Now you got client, server, or extract. Server will be um obviously Minecraft server, but you just want client. Click on make sure just click that. Click OK. Done. Now if you run Minecraft, click edit profile. Now uh, I've already created a different one. Now if you click down to use version, go down to all the way to the bottom, you'll see Minecraft Forge. Click save play. Let it run. There we go. Minecraft 1.7.10 Forge. Guys, quick game. Now that is done. Now I'm gonna use these three mods. Let's hope they work together. Now I'm gonna be using zombie awareness mod, custom stuff, and extra recipes. So okay, now what you wanna do is I already created a shortcut to my desktop for dot Minecraft, but what you wanna do is on Windows, you wanna press the Windows key and press R. And I'll bring you up to run. Now for Mac, I think it's Command R, I think. I'm not sure, I don't have a Mac, so you have to look that up. Click OK. Now what you want to do is right click Minecraft Minecraft and create shortcut or send to desktop. Click that and they'll have a shortcut right here. So Go into your dot Minecraft, go to your mods folder, and what you want to do is uh, I'm gonna drag and drop these into here. Right. Now you just want to minimize this just in case something goes wrong. Now run Minecraft. Now another tutorial will be um, teaching you how to dedicate more RAM to your Minecraft to speed it up. Now that'll be next tutorial, so keep that out. I might be on any network or it might be on my own channel, so keep that in mind. Let's press play. Now we'll download the stuff needed. Okay. And it crashed. So so one of these mods don't work. All right, so what we're going to do is just going to remove this over here. So we're going to close Minecraft. Now let's go to custom stuff. Put that in. Run Minecraft. 
And what I like to do is, if this doesn't work, I like to install Forge, put Forge in there as well, so it's always in. So let's just play that. Because not all mods work together. So, there we go. And it's gonna run. And not. So, what I like to do is put the installer in if that happens from Minecraft. Just so you can get the recipes and all the um, things needed for it. I realized that I wasn't at the wrong one. So, if I make sure it's the right one, save, play. Okay, it's, it's crashed. Okay. Well, I did, I did it before, but... Why is it not working? So, what I want to do, put this out. And what I might do is... I might use more my other mods I use, normally use. So, these are all the mods I use. So, let's... Have Optifine. Um, dynamic Lights. And... Let's have one more. And more pickaxes mod. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay. Go to Minecraft. This should work, because remember I think it might be just a mod itself. So let's play. Let's hopefully it works this time. Yeah. It's funny, every time you want to show someone someone it doesn't work, but when you do it yourself, it works. Yay! It works. Yeah, I think it's just because those mods don't work together. I think. There we go. So if you go mods, Optifine, everything with the Forge stuff, Dynamic Lights. Let's bring it down. And my pickaxes. So you can disable which ones you want as well. So if you go done, single player, create new world, play. And so show you that these do work. So if we go options, video settings, there we go. Take your inventory. Let's just make this a bit bigger. No pickaxes, there we go. No pickaxes. And dynamic lights mod. We'll get let's see what we can use for like glowstone. Let's go under here. There we go, and it works. Without it, with it, without it, with it. So that's how you install mods, everyone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please leave a like. Please share this video with all your friends. Please comment if you have any trouble. Um, I will be looking at the comments. Um, if you haven't, subscribe to Own Ninja Network and my own channel. And I'll see you guys next time.